well, I mean, today went well for us. It was a slow start. I mean, we were kind of, you know, disappointed in that and kind of got a little fire under them a little bit. And they realized, too, that they weren't, you know, clicking at the very beginning and um, were able to pull themselves together. But stay, what I liked about it is that they just kind of stayed even kill and they just, you know, just picked away at the, at the score and didn't get really, um, you know, um, very, you know, mental or, you know, they just kind of just stayed with it. They kept their cool and their composure, I guess is what I'm trying to say, and um, and got back into it. So I think that was really uh, showed a lot of character for this team. Early on with that slow start, was there anything you were telling them in an early timeout about what they needed to change? I mean, we weren't passing. We weren't, we weren't getting the ball inside the 10 foot line at all. We couldn't run our middles. Um, you know, we want to, we, we've got two very good middles here who do a good job of uh, enabling our pin hitters to get, you know, the splits and the uh, single blocks. And when we can't even do that, and we're out of playing out of system the whole time, just like Coach said, you know, when you're out of system, you know, that's just not, not where you want to be. And that's kind of what that did to us at the beginning. So it was just settling down, I think, and just trying to get them to pass the ball and show a little more ball control. I mean, Yeah, I think, you know, again, we just stayed with it. We got, we got T, uh, Tanise on some swings on the outside. We got a couple of, you know, hit kills from them. We settled down. We started passing. They started erring a little bit, too, and then that kind of, you know, eased the pressure for us a little bit because, it, because of what they did as well. But, um, but, but, you know, we served tough. We were serving the ball tough, um, and then we continued to serve it tough, and that, I think they struggled with that. Um, and that really helped us get get back, settle down, and get back into our game, get some confidence, and you know, and keep keep going. So, so now moving on to Saturday, facing the host number one seed Trinity, what is the team going to need to do to pull off that upset? Yeah, I mean we're gonna we're gonna have to still pass, you know, and we just need to try to get in our offense as much as we can. We know that they run a very fast offense. We know where they're ranked and seated in the nation, and. Um, we're, we, we don't have anything to lose, you know, and so we're going to get out there and we're just going to play hard and, um, and, and do the best that we can do at what we're good at and um, see where it takes us. Do you think after the win you'll have some more folks coming down from Sydney to cheer you on tomorrow? Um, we might. Um, we might get some more. I mean, this was this is a Friday, and then tomorrow we may get. You know, we we get we get the good thing is we get two more days. You know, to play no matter what, and that's pretty awesome. And I think each day it'll bring some more uh, friends and fans. You know, out to support them. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll go ahead and bring up Um, I thought the match was really good. You know, Austin College is a really good team. Obviously, before this match, we were one-to-one -one with them, so I think we both had, like, fire under our butts in a way. Um, but in the first set, it didn't really look like that with us. Um, it was a really slow start, but then we started kicking it in, which is really nice to see because I feel like our team in the beginning of the season would not have been able to pull that off to where our team now, we're kind of peaking now, we're at our – uh, highest self in a way, so it was really nice and fun to see that in play. And six aces, what was working for you there? It's all on the wrist. On the wrist. I, I don't know. I can tell you. Luck. Luck. But. What are you expecting to see from Trinity tomorrow? You already faced them mm -hmm. twice, and of course, right second in the country, so what are you mm -hmm. hoping to see from yourself and your team tomorrow? Um, I'm hoping to see a lot of good digs, of course, and a lot of good blocking. They have some really strong hitters, and that's where they usually burn us a lot. So it'd be nice to dig those and block those. Yeah. All right, thank you, Peyton. And now we'll bring up senior Maddox, Madison Wessinger. And Madison, again, just uh, your initial thoughts on the match and how things went today and what was working for Texas Lutheran. Yeah, so like Peyton said, um, the beginning was a little slow. Uh, we even were really excited to play today, and we really, um, we really wanted to win and move forward. And you know we all, we all thought we were focused and ready to go, and the first set happened, and we all like kind of 
the first time out was um, a really big like refocus, and we kind of got like mad at ourselves. I'm like we're just we just need to get it together, and then uh, went uphill from there. And then we got what we wanted, and we completed a goal of ours. So, as a senior who is soon to become a super senior, did you feel a responsibility to talk to the team in that first time out and fire people up? Yes, I mean like I feel like we. Like on the seniors, um, a lot of people look up to us and kind of they kind of want to hear what we have to say a lot of the times. Um, and so when we got back in the court, we were like, hey, let's relax. I don't think we're really having fun right now. Uh, we're losing. Uh, we need to pull it together, have fun, um, have some fire, and we need to win. So yeah, I think they, they, they like to listen to what we say a little bit because we kind of fire them up, but yeah. And tomorrow, after tonight, you had a good amount of fans cheering you on tomorrow, probably expecting to have Trinity filling the house. But how do you feed off of that energy, especially after a year last year where there were no fans in many of the locations? Sometimes we have to, you know, cheer for ourselves. Um, our sideline does a really good job of um, keeping us, like our energy high, um, especially when they can tell that our energy is low and the morale is low. They do a really good job at um, picking us up. And our families always come out and support. Um, so that's always good.